We are, the, we are older and bolder and bolder we will get. The, great pe the, people, the older people vote, younger people don't bother and we are very, very angry. No to Enda and no to Eamon. We are not accepting the cuts. No cuts. Even if no we cuts. have to barricade no ourselves no to the fence. No, 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 no cuts. No cuts. No not accepting them. No rethink. No cuts. And I'm angry because we are not alone getting cut. Cut, 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 cut. We have added expenses now with the house charges and the water charges coming along. Not to mention our medication, which we have to pay double the price for. Now, they have taken our phones away, phone allowance away from us. What message do you have to send to the government? Get the hell out. Have mercy out. on us. Get the hell out. We're not happy. I hope they heard yeah, that. We're not happy. We're not happy. I'd like to be able to say that it's nice to see you, but it's a disgrace that you have to take to the streets again because of what this government is doing to older people. We must resist the attempts to drive a wedge between older people and younger people. Yes. Why would we want to attack our children and our grandchildren and our great-grandchildren? And why would they want to attack us? In Ireland we've got a lot of intergenerational solidarity that's very precious and we have to stop people destroying it. And that's critical for all of us. We want you to go to the clinics of each of the government parties and tell them that they are not to vote for this budget. We want you to keep active, keep with us and keep a good heart this is our country. 100 years ago in this city, some of its citizens were battered and starved and in some cases lost their lives in the struggle for a decent standard of living for their loved ones. We here today are the advocates of our generation and we owe it to the memory of those brave people of 1913 to ensure that the vulnerable people of today's society have a reasonable standard of living.